Philadelphia firefighter Cooper and his 12-year-old daughter Riley attend a concert by pop star Lady Raven. The girl is excited, and Cooper is glad she's enjoying their time together. However, Cooper notices that the police officers in the concert hall are periodically picking off random white men, and a SWAT team is surrounding the building. As he is informed in confidence by a chatty souvenir seller, the concert is a covert operation to capture a serial killer nicknamed The Butcher. And all would be nothing, but Cooper is The Butcher, and to hide from justice, without revealing himself in front of his happy daughter, becomes more and more difficult with each minute. Indian screenwriter, producer and director M. Night Shyamalan is known as a master of unexpected endings, but in fact it is much more correct to call him the king of concepts, exciting plots that hook even in the briefest of log lines. What would you do if you find yourself on a beach where time is passing at cosmic speed? What if the plants decide to kill all the people? What if strange guests show up at your house claiming to be heralds of the coming apocalypse, which only you can stop? All these are the plots of M. Night Shyamalan's films, to which now with you can add one more high concept, a thriller about a serial killer trying to get out of a pop concert, turned by special services into one big trap. The key feature of Trap is Shyamalan's decision to put in the center of this story not some undercover agent, who just needs to whitewash his name, but the real maniac, who needs to get out because he has another victim sitting on a chain in his secret house. Neither his wife nor his children know about Cooper's second life, and for all those around him he is the charm itself, always positive, smiling and caring family man, that he will shamelessly use, trying to find, and if it does not work, to dig a hole in the shrinking ring of Corden. In its first half, Trap shows Shyamalan at his genre best, with the fact that we're worried for the villain only adding to the exhilarating adrenaline. In the first half of the movie raises the hope that this is not just an entertaining movie, but an attempt to reflect on the nature of evil, its relativity and conventionality. In plot twists not once Cooper, trying to escape justice, does good or just help someone. But alas, exactly in the middle of the movie, Shyamalan suddenly pulls out a steel crowbar from behind his back and mercilessly shoves it into the wheels of the accelerated locomotive of the plot. Interestingly, this crowbar has a name, and its name is Salika Shyamalan. She plays the very Lady Raven at whose concert the action unfolds. While the girl, for whom it's her acting debut, is just dancing on the stage, performing cute pop songs of her own composition, there are no complaints, but, as it was already said, exactly in the middle the trap gives out an unexpected twist, which we should spoil, Lady Raven becomes the main character of the story. It is not easy to switch your focus of empathy on her purely emotionally, but there is more, Salika's acting is so mediocre and talentless, that she will definitely get her first award this year. Golden Razzie is waiting for her for sure. Shyamalan, as much as he can, tries to help his daughter with editing, but, alas, his creative self-sabotage does not end with Salika, who unexpectedly got into the epicenter of the story. From the middle the movie begins to fall apart epically, scene by scene losing everything good that the director built in the first half. And the saddest thing is that the very meaning of the movie is lost behind all this rumbling of collapsing supporting structures. What is this movie about? What does Shyamalan as an author want to tell us? That maniacs can be understood? That a maniac can be someone you know well? That even bad people love their children? That, after all, there are devils in a quiet pool? It's all kind of shallow and, alas, not very smart, and it's especially sad that such an accident happened in Trap, where Josh Hartnett, who seemed to have started his acting renaissance again, gave one of the most memorable performances of his career.